calculating your shadows frame by frame doesn't necessarily uh, gel well with the 360. If it's calculating every frame for each of the cameras, there's going to be a chance that there's like a mismatch between the cameras, especially when you've got things like global illumination going on. Dynamic global illumination calculated per frame is not necessarily uh, going to go so well. So we're going to try and pair back that dynamic side of it, make a bit more of a well-optimized scene and try and fix some shadow problems. So let's jump into it. Okay, so as we said, shadows can trip you up and make you realize, well, there's like something, something up with this. I can see some seams. Um, you know, it's 360 isn't going right. So let's just demonstrate this. If I just copy this out here, it's a great example because it just goes from dark to light. Uh, if I just jump into the render target, hit the alpha off, use my little perspective pilot here. Right, so moving around here immediately looking looking weird and this goes into that whole lumen global illumination theory so uh, if we go to keep map this is the same thing as a equi rectangular but it's just remapping it in a different way and because these cameras are kind of looking from different perspectives they're getting a different sense of the global illumination in the scene so go back to equi rectangular and you can understand why these cubes are showing up there's like one camera being in one spot one camera being in another spot so the way around this is to change the global illumination setting from lumen so you go edit project settings search global illumination and take this from lumen to either ray traced or none um i'm gonna set it to ray trace see if we can get away, away with that and and immediately we can now see most of that most of that uh fringing seam issue is already gone really really cool so that's that's eliminated the shadow issue this global illumination setting we're getting a slight seam down here that's actually because of the exponential height fog but i'll go into that in the next video we can just turn that off quickly uh we can just turn off our fog and really see how these shadows are just not not causing any seams anymore so yeah really quickly that's how you fix the the bulk of your seam issues by meddling with that global illumination setting that will really cover most bases with your 360 renders but next up we'll go into exponential height fog and some ways to fix those kind of seams